Hey guys, so today I have my first of three prom looks I am doing. Prom is quickly approaching in the next few months and I decided it's better early than late. So the first look is a just very glowy neutral makeup they could wear with any dress. So let's just get right into it. All music in this video is downloaded from SoundCloud and I will link them all down below. The first product I'm using is primer. This is important because you want your makeup to stay on all night. I'm using the Smashbox Primer Water. And then for a glow, I'm using the MAC Strobe Cream. Make sure any products you use do not have SPF or else there will be some flashback. You make it look like now I'm filling my in my eyebrows with my Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I can do a full in-depth tutorial on eyebrows that will be coming soon but it's pretty basic, just fill in your eyebrows like you normally would. Now I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden and setting that with a powder so the eyeshadows go on smoother. I will be using mostly Makeup Geek shadows. This is from Makeup Geek and it's called Creme Brulee. And I'm just gonna use that as my transition shade with my Morphe E27 brush and blending that through the crease. Now I'm taking Frappe, which is probably like one shade darker and applying that in the crease with this brush that came with my Naked 3 palette. You can use any kind of stiff brush to blend that nicely and then I will be blending that out with E27 and then I'm taking the shade Cocoa Bear and taking an even smaller amount and lightly putting that in the crease I kind of wanted a little bit of a subtle cut crease effect so I'm using that same brush that I was using before now I'm taking one of the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows in the shade starry eyed this is just my base for my glittery foiled shadow which you will see in just a second and now the star of the look this is the stila magnificent metals eyeshadows these are very pricey but they are so worth it and this is in the shade pixie dust and i'm just taking a little bit of the dropper and mixing it with the stuff and then i am putting a little bit on just without it to make it more intense Now I'm taking the NYC liquid liner. This is so good. It's only $2 from the drugstore and it's amazing. This is seriously my favorite eyeliner ever. And I'm winging my eyeliner. You could do whatever eyeliner you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just think wings always look really pretty and classy. I'm just applying some mascara to prep for falsies. I'm using the Huda Beauty Sasha Lashes. And then I will be starting with foundation. I'm using matte because I am oily and I just add the glow later. But if you have dry skin, go as dewy as you want. Just make sure it doesn't have SPF. So I'm blending that with an It Cosmetics foundation brush. Um, this is my favorite foundation and I'm in the shade 128. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Concealer in the shade Light Neutral and I'm highlighting with this and I will be doing some cream contouring as well. So this is cream contouring and a highlighting. So put that underneath the eyes, the bridge of the nose, underneath where you put your contour, your chin, and the center of the forehead. And then this is a contour stick by Maybelline. Well, it's actually a foundation stick and I'm pretty sure it's in the shade 310. 
and I'm just putting that in the contour spots. You can look up a more in-depth tutorial on cream contouring. It's pretty simple. You just place it where you want it. Then I'm spraying my brush with Fix Plus because it helps it blend better and makes it so it's not cakey. So I'm using that same It Cosmetics foundation brush to blend that out. I find if I use the same brush for every product on my face, it blends together better. So yeah, I'm just going to keep blending for a while. Um, I can also do an in-depth tutorial on cream contouring if you are interested in that. Just hold on, we're going home. It's hard to do with the things I love. Just hold on, we're going home. Oh, oh. Now I'm just taking my airspun powder and setting my entire face with this. This is a powder brush from um, Real Techniques. I'm just using that to set my entire face because I do tend to get oily and we don't want to be no grease ball when we are dancing it up. So now I'm taking a highlighter from Makeup Revolution. I'm not really sure the shade. But I'm just like placing this all over my face pretty much just to add that glow. It's not as intense as a regular highlight. Now I'm taking Milani Luminoso Baked Blush and applying that on my cheeks with a Luxie Angled Brush. And then I'm taking this Nude Highlight from Maybelline and using that as a blush topper for the glow. And then I'm taking Becca Champagne Pop with Jaclyn Hill, my favorite highlighter ever, with the Morphe M501 brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush with my favorite highlighter. I pretty much wear this every day, and it's great. 10 out of 10. And now I'm just taking creme brulee and putting that on my lower lash line just to add a little bit of smokiness. And then I'm taking the Easton Snob Lip Liner from Rimmel. And I will be topping that with the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy. And we'll stay tuned for my next video. See you guys next time. Bye!